I want to move the colour mixing application on now by making it more interactive. I want to allow the user to be able to change the amount of red, green and blue at runtime. To do this, I'm going to add three text boxes to the form. I've named them TXT red value, TXT green value and TXT blue value. Let's put some labels next to them as well. This is only temporary. Later on, I'll allow the user to select the values using drag bars, or to be more precise, horizontal scroll bars. But for now, I just want the user to be able to change the colours by changing the values on the form. The next thing I'm going to do is collect these values into variables. I'm going to declare and initialise these three variables at the form level. When the button is clicked, the values of these variables will be adjusted according to the values in the text boxes. And now I want to use the values in these variables to specify the colours of the circles and the colours of their intersections. Now I can't just hard code colours like yellow for an intersection. I need to use a solid brush again. So let's replace this with a new solid brush. Because this is the intersection between red and green, I need to use the red value and the green value. The blue value will be zero. I need to do something similar with the red-blue intersection. And with the intersection between the green and blue circles. Finally, I need to specify the colour of the intersection between all three circles. I can use all of the values which I've collected from the form now. We're almost there, but there's one more thing I'd like to do before I test this. I'd like to populate those three text boxes when the form hits the screen. In other words, when the form loads. So I'm going to use the form load event. And when the form loads, the red value text box will have a value of 255. The green value text box will also have a value of 255 and the same again for blue. Let's give it a go. My three text boxes are populated. There are my three circles, each with full saturation, and now I'm going to adjust one of those. Let's reduce the amount of red to, let's say, 120. Run the program again. And there's definitely been a change, not only to the red, but where it overlaps the other two colours. Let's change the green. Yep, that's working as well. It looks a little bit strange because we're on a grey background. So I'm just going to change the background colour of the form to black. The presence of all three colours at full saturation is white. The absence of any colour at all is black. I'm going to do that in the form load event as well. Let's try again. So there are three circles at full saturation. Let's reduce the amount of one of those colours. That looks a little bit more like the effect you would get if you were shining three coloured beams of light onto a black wall in a dark room. This is exactly what I'm after.
Of course, with a black background, I can't see my labels anymore. Let me just change the colour of those. That's better. Well, I have a rudimentary colour mixing application in place now, and it's working. It's not robust. I'm sure I can easily break this. Let's try a value that simply doesn't work. You can see I've triggered a runtime error here. I'm sure I could crash this program in a number of different ways. Next time, I'll show you how I can improve the user interface by making the selection of the colour values easier to do. I'm also going to move some of my code around, so I'm not reliant on a button on the form. But as I said, we're nearly there. We have an interactive colour mixing application, and it's working to an effect.